I'm Richard Marsh. I'm a tour guide, a storyteller, and a writer at various times. When I don't have a tour, I usually sit down and write. And if I have the opportunity, I tell stories to groups of people. I have been here so many times, especially on my storytelling tours <laughs> that I do in Marion Square. I have no idea when I came here first, but I've been here many, many times. I love the place for its, its quiet and the greenness of it. But it must be three or four years ago now that they tore down the playground and rebuilt, you know, built a whole new one, which is very interesting. And they commissioned a Lithuanian woodcarver, Sharunas Gimbutis, to make a, a wood sculpture of the selfish giant. And it's, uh, the, the, uh, the playground is right behind the statue of Oscar Wilde, who wrote that story, one of his most famous short stories. And in it, the selfish giant finds that children are playing in his garden, chases them out. Winter comes all year round. He tears down the wall, lets the children come in, and it's summertime. It's in pieces. You have the head sitting up here. You have a hand here, a hand here, a foot here, a knee there. And I think it was very inventive. I started a relationship with a bicycle whose name is Nomad Motobacan back in the 1980s, and we've been together ever since. We're very faithful to each other. And I was living in Avoca in County Wicklow, uh, pretty much hand to mouth, doing freelancing for various publications on RTE, Radio One. And a British Buddhist came by, riding a bicycle and towing another one with two wheels strapped over his shoulder. He was desperate to get rid of one of the bicycles and he sold it to me for I think 10 pounds. We're still together and we have been on quite a few adventures around Ireland and in Wales. During the winter I used to look at the maps, look at the, uh, the Gothic lettering which denotes an ancient monument and wonder what it looks like. So when the good weather would come in the spring and the summer I'd set off on the bicycle and have a look at it. I was living in Avoca and I had to go over the two sets of hills at the spine of the mountains. I came into the woods on Carandola Hill asked a couple of woodmen where I could find this fort. And the bicycle kept pulling. And I said, you know, stop messing around. We're, we're going down here and we're going to look down that way. And it kept pulling and finally it pulled me right off into the rut. I said, stop messing around. We don't have much time. It's going to get dark very soon. I have to set up the tent. I have to find a flat place to put the tent in the first place. And you know, let's keep going. So we kept on going. It behaved itself. She behaved herself. And we got down to the end, I parked the bike against the bushes, looked down that way, didn't see anything. I was supposed to see the stone circle when I looked to the left. So I walked down a little way, ah, saw another turn, came up there, there was the stone circle, right where the bicycle was trying to pull me. Where did I find the flat place to put up the tent? <laughs> Next to the stone circle. <laughs> she was right again. As I got off the bike, I held onto the brakes, so it wouldn't go backwards, and the brake cable broke. If that had happened, coming down one of those steep hills, wipe out. She had waited until it was safe to let the cable break. That's why I'm faithful to her.